Welcome to the first installment of Cooking with Beer Me BC. Today we're going to make a winter ale beer braised rib. We're using the Nelson Brewery face plant organic winter ale. You can use any winter ale for this one, but today we've chosen the Nelson. First off, you're going to want to chop some onion. I've used one full onion for this recipe. Chop the onion into centimeter like squares. After you've chopped your onion, start heating a pan. When this pan is hot, you can put in about a tablespoon of butter. Once that butter is melted, you can add the onion and start to simmer. Into this onion mixture, you can add some garlic. Following the garlic, you can add some chopped ginger as well. Once the onion, garlic, and ginger has started to simmer, you can add some other spices. Rosemary, oregano, salt and pepper are all great choices. While your onion and spice mixture is starting to simmer, open a can of your winter ale. Pour this into a pot and start to heat. Into the beer mixture that's now heating, you can also add some brown sugar. I've added about two tablespoons. Once the onion mixture has browned nicely, mix that with the now simmering beer mixture. Into the pan that was for the onion mixture, add a little bit more butter, about another tablespoon. I'm going to put a little bit more garlic into this butter mixture. Once the butter and garlic are bubbling nicely, I'm going to add the pork ribs. Once the ribs are nice and brown, we're going to move this into the other mixture and actually start boiling the ribs. R remove the ribs from the pan and put into a pot with the beer mixture. Allow the whole mixture to simmer for about another 20 minutes. We want the beer to reduce down and create a bit more of a sauce. We're now going to take the ribs, put them in the baking pan, and then put them in the oven. I'm going to put this at about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. I'm not going to cover the ribs at first as I want the sauce to reduce. As it does reduce though, you may need to cover this with tin foil in order to stop it from burning or drying out. Once the sauce is thickened and the ribs are fully cooked, remove from the oven and let sit for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the ribs will have set and you'll be ready to eat.